Well, it's one in the morning, so that would be a perfect time to revive a lawnmower. Now, the last time you guys saw this lawnmower was whenever I tried to use the dish soap as oil, and then the oil just kind of, or the dish soap just kind of worked its way into the carburetor, clogged it up, and shut it down. So in order to revive it, hopefully it'll be a fairly easy process. I'm hoping that I can just take this carburetor off, clean it out, drain out the dish soap, and put real oil back in, and hopefully we're off to the races. Now, I doubt that it's gonna be that easy because everything I like to work on, or everything that I work on, chooses to fight me all the way through, so I'm sure it's probably gonna be a battle, so let's get started. All right, first things first, let's see what we're working with. You can see the remnants of the soap. You can probably see it dripping down right there. Let's take this air filter cover off. You can, you can see the blue from the soap where it had soaked into the air filter here. Ugh. Yeah, you can see that right there. Soaked all the way in there. Nice. And just as I expected, looks like there's soap everywhere through here. So it looks like we just have one, two, three bolts holding that carburetor on. So I was actually looking closer at it and rather than just taking out these three bolts up here on the carburetor, first I want to, there's this, this piece of this uh, cover right here, it blocks the back part of the carburetor. So there's just three bolts, just one, two, and three. So I want to take these out, get this cover out of the way, that way I can have access to the back side of the carburetor. I'll make sure to put these bolts in some place where I'll forget. And once you get that last bolt out, then this cover just lifts up. As you can see, now we have access to the back side of the carburetor. And this housing, all it is is just basically the cover and the top for your pull rope. And that pull rope just gets caught right here. So you can turn the engine over. Very simple design. Now let's get this carburetor off. Well, I started looking up close now that this cover's off and I can actually see what's going on back here. It looks like there's only two bolts that hold this carburetor on, this one and this one. So let's go ahead and take those loose. Should have brought some power tools. Before we get that other bolt out, let's... I know this is probably gonna make some people cringe, but whatever. I'm gonna use a pair of vice grips and just pinch off this fuel line. Well, I'm actually gonna have to take that clamp off of there. See there, take that hose clamp loose right there. And then I'll pinch off this fuel line. Hopefully that doesn't leak. Now let's get the second bolt out of here. go. Let's see if we can just wiggle this thing loose out of here. All right, that's loose. Should just be able to, I uh, can't see exactly what's going on here, but I'm just gonna use a screwdriver back here to pop this fuel line off. Come on. Watch those vice grips not be tight enough. Well, we leaked some gas everywhere, but who cares about that? Pull that off of there. Come on. All right, our carburetor's out. So now that we have this carburetor off, let's go ahead and start cleaning it. Now, I don't have carb cleaner, but I do have brake cleaner. So to me, they should do pretty much the same thing. Now, I've already made the decision that I'm gonna cut some corners and I'm not gonna take this bowl off. I'm just gonna pull this plug and spray the brake cleaner inside of it and just kind of wash all the soap out of there. Hopefully that's enough and hopefully I don't regret that decision, which I probably will. So let's go ahead, pull this off. Looks like just a half turn. All right, you see all that gas leaking out of there? 
You can hear that, that float in there. All right, so it's not, not a bad sign. It just looks like pure gas. Brick cleaner here. Ooh. Well, I can definitely see some, some soap residue. Get this thing all nice and clean. All right, that actually doesn't look that bad. I think I should be able to put this plug back in here. Now I think we should be able to just put this back on the mower, change out that soap with some oil, and we're good. So now that we've got this carburetor all cleaned up, let's start putting it back in. Now, whenever I was taking this carburetor out, there was two things that fell. I pulled it off and there's this O-ring, which I'm assuming goes right here on the intake. But then there was also this pl plastic piece right here that looks like a plug of some sort because there's no, there's no hole, nothing can, well, of course I just probably lost it now. But anyway, there's no hole, there's no way for anything to go through it, so it's some type of plug, but as far as where this plug goes, I have no idea. Like it looks like maybe it could go like here or something. Or maybe, I honestly don't know. I don't have any idea where this plug goes. So I'm just gonna assume that it's an extra part. When in doubt, play ignorant. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this O-ring, put this O-ring back on here. Then we have our throttle control. So we need to take this bar and snake this thing. There we go. Snake it back up through there. Then we'll line this up right here. That seems as far back as it can go. Was that really just that easy? Well, let's put these screws back in here. Hopefully these screws don't want to fight with me too bad. Just go back in here where you belong. All right, the linkage is hooked up. This is hooked up. Carburetor's back on. Now we just gotta get that gas line back on. I tried to move you where you can see what's going on when I put this gas line back on. I know you can't see it, but you're just gonna have to trust me because I'm a semi-professional and I, I halfway know what I'm doing. Make sure that gas line's all the way up against it. And I'm just gonna use these pliers. Come on, don't do this to me. It's so hard trying to use tools while you're trying to make sure a camera can see what's going on. There we go. Put that there. All right. Now for one of our last steps, we're gonna put this cover back on. So that goes right there. And I didn't lose all three bolts. All right. Now let's get some fresh oil in this thing and see if it runs. Well, we're back to this position again. So this time I'm gonna use a mason jar. I don't know why I didn't think of that to begin with and I decided to use a cut off two liter bottle. All right, let's see what we're working with here. Come on. Oh, yeah. That looks like soap if I've ever seen it. There's quite a bit in there. So that seems like all of it. So this is what we got out of it. So let's put some fresh oil in there, see if it can run. All right, we've got our oil, just like last time. Let's get this bad boy filled up. Let's try not to make a mess. I still have not looked up how much oil this thing takes. Oh, it's just now on the dipstick. Just a little bit more, perfect. Now the fun part. Let's see if this thing runs. All right, here we are. Moment of truth. Let's get this thing primed up and see if it'll run. All right, here we go. I wonder if the spark plug is fouled up. 
All right, so since that last clip you saw, I took the carburetor off again, cleaned it again, and tried to start it again, and it still didn't start. So I'm pretty much convinced that it has something to do with the spark plug. So let's get this spark plug out of here. Yep. That'll do it. So we definitely found our problem. Right here you can see a good shot of this spark plug. You can see all that crud that's built up around it from all that soap that <laughs> did whatever it did whenever it got inside the piston. So let's clean this off and we should be good. And there we go. Sprayed it off with some brake cleaner. Looks good as new. Now we'll just put this right back in here. What I'm going to assume is, and hopefully I'm wrong, is that it's probably going to get clogged up again and again and again, and I'll just have to keep taking it out and cleaning it. Hopefully that's not the case, but if it is, it is. Put this back on here till it clips. There we go. All right, let's see if it'll run. All right, attempt number two. Let's see what happens. Well, that is very impressive. So now that we know it runs, let's mow some grass with it. All right, this is the ultimate test. All right, it's pretty much good. Ooh, it is hot. So, as you can see, the mower runs, and it runs good. Now, I know you guys couldn't tell this, obviously, but while that mower is running, whenever, like whenever you're mowing the grass with it, I guess where, just where you're walking behind it, you get this constant waft of burning soap. And it just, it never went away, ever. And, but other than that, it ran good. But as you saw, for some reason there, about like, probably 80% of the way through Mo in the backyard, it started smoking real bad, and then kind of went away, and then smoked a little bit more, and then went away again. I don't really know what that was. I can only assume that after it had got pretty hot, uh, some of the soap maybe was working its way back through and was burning off or something. That's all I can assume. I'm not really worried about it because obviously it was a lawnmower that was just filled with dish soap. So can't expect much, a little bit of smoke, no problem. But at least on the upside, the mower is running again. So that way, now we can make another video and try to use something else as oil. So go ahead and leave a comment down below what you want to see me do next with that mower. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.